Tom Staley. I'm standing in front of the Lafayette Theater in Suffern, New York, on Lafayette Avenue. Uh, this is one of the theaters that the New York Theater Organ Society has installed an organ in. And in fact, the organ in this theater gets played more than any of the others. For over 20 years now, it's been played every weekend before the Friday night and Saturday night first run films and also on Saturday morning before a series of classic films. The theater opened in 1924. It originally had an organ, which I believe was a molar, was removed many years ago. And in 1992, the Organ Society acquired the instrument that's in here now. It was uh, Opus Number 2095, Wurlitzer Opus Number 2095. It was built by Wurlitzer in 1931, and it was the last one of this particular model of organ that they made, a Style 150. Originally, just two manuals and five ranks of pipes. The organ had an interesting history. It played in the Lawler Theater in Greenfield, Massachusetts at the beginning of its life. Later on, um, it was moved to a, a skating rink in Massachusetts and eventually was purchased by Ben Hall. Ben Hall was a theater historian, an author, and um, he lived in New York City and bought the organ to install into his apartment in Greenwich Village. Unfortunately, shortly after it was installed and up and playing, he was mysteriously murdered and no one has ever solved the case. But the organ then was moved out to the West Coast where it was going to be installed in the estate of Harold Boyd, the silent movie actor. That did not come to pass. And finally, in the mid-1970s, it came back to New York and was installed in the uh, Carnegie Cinema in the basement of Carnegie Hall in Seventh Avenue. I played there for about 10 years. When Carnegie Hall was renovated in 1986, we were required to remove the organ and find a new home for it. And eventually, it finally, finally found a home here in the Lafayette Theater. We're now in the chamber at the Lafayette Theater. There are 11 ranks of pipes here. The whole organ is installed in this one chamber. It's a one chamber installation. Uh, originally, there was a, an organ in this theater that was removed years ago. I believe it was a molar. And it was a one chamber installation. So in 1992, when we began installing this organ, 1991, we had it playing in 92, uh, 91 to 92, we uh, designed the organ. Actually, Dave Kopp did the layout, our chairman at the time, and did the configuration of the stops. And we were able to get everything into this chamber, all 11 ranks. Uh, the, the organ, as we mentioned, was originally a five-rank organ. So it was expanded with, a, with six more ranks to give us a pretty complete organ. It basically uh, replicates a style H now, uh, Wurlitzer with, an addition, with the addition of a, a postmark. One of the ways we were able to get this much into one chamber was by building a, a small balcony, if you will, a platform up above. And up there are all of the um, percussions, the tuned percussions, like the rocket spiels, Iowa blow, and so on, as well as several of the offset uh, sets of pipes. But that enabled us to fit all of what's in here into this one chamber. organist here at the Lafayette Theater and this is the Ben Hall Memorial Organ and uh, which came from his apartment in Greenwich Village and we played every night uh, every Friday night and Saturday night for the movies and also on Saturday morning for the big screen classics. Yeah. 
Tweet 4, Tweet 5.